Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. This is your host Ram welcoming you. I know that yesterday I couldn't do my cricket show. I'm sorry about that because I was a bit unwell. Even now I am still not fully well. Uh, but yesterday it was uh, very bad. So, But I'm today I'm a bit fit. So I'm here back uh, talking to you dear fans, friends, subscribers. And so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to look at the first test match of the series uh, which started between Pakistan and England uh, and I'm going to look at the salient features. So let's have a look as I'll be talking about what happened yesterday and what happened today and I'm going to give it is going to be a very short uh, I mean it's going to be a synopsis. So uh, so let's start off from here. Now talking about the game here uh, Pakistan uh, were uh, today they resumed at their overnight uh, I mean the first day for Pakistan <coughs> was uh, decent I would say uh, Jake Ball uh, made his debut for England uh, and uh, as far as the Pakistan card goes uh, yesterday the feature was Miss Baul Haq uh, at the age of 42 and also playing his first test against England in England uh, was the one uh, who formed, uh, um, uh, I would say, uh, not only he who made 114 uh, with 18 boundaries uh, holding the innings together, but also Asad Shafiq showing some very good technique. And what one likes about Asad Shafiq, Asad Shafiq is a very consistent player. Uh, he played superbly and uh, he combined into a beautiful partnership uh, with uh, Ms. Baal Haq yesterday. Uh, to add some valuable runs, his contribution was 73 uh, with 12 boundaries, and uh, <coughs> and uh, Chris Wokes uh, was the one who did the damage. In fact, he today uh, he was the one uh, who completed his uh, uh, career best haul in Test cricket, uh, bowling 24 overs, seven maidens, 70 runs and six wickets. So he bowled splendidly. He was supported by Broad, who picked up three wickets for 71. 1 for 51 for Jake Ball. So Jake Ball getting yesterday his uh, uh, his maiden uh, test wicket uh, in the form of Azhar Ali who really struggled I thought uh, and he was LBW for 7. Uh, Stephen Fenn uh, was wicketless, none for 86. Moin Ali was costly. Moin Ali was never allowed to settle down by the Pakistani batsman. In particular it was Ms. Baul Haq who was really taking uh, uh, taking it to him, no doubt about it. Asad Shafiq to a certain extent too, and uh, <coughs> wins bowled one hour for one run. Now, talking talking about the uh, uh, Pakistani uh, card here, uh, if you look at it, uh, Mohammad Afiz uh, um, and Shan Masood started, uh, but Masood was out very cheaply for seven. Uh, it was Chris Wokes was moving the ball beautifully, uh, and he nipped it up. And in fact, Azhar Ali, as I said, was LBW bowled ball. Yunis Khan was a victim of uh, Broad for 33 with four boundaries and this was the time uh, when <coughs> they needed that partnership. Uh, they, were, uh, they were really not looking uh, very good at 134 for four uh, but Ms. Baul Haq um, showing a lot of application and determination and getting tremendous support from Asad Shafiq. As I said, Asad Shafiq seems to be the most consistent uh, Pakistani player and it's really good to see and extra doing so well and he also has some good technique too and the way he actually dealt with the balling it was good to see as Ms. Baal Hakan Asad Shafiq chiseled together a partnership uh, adding some valuable runs in fact uh, if you look at it uh, they added um, uh, 140 yard runs uh, for the fifth wicket uh, and that was the reason uh, that uh, Pakistan uh, finished uh, decently uh, yesterday uh, and so Asad Shafiq making 73 as I said, Ms. Baula, 10th century, 10th century and also <clears throat> another thing that one has to remember is that Ms. Baula at the age of 42 playing his first test against England in England and as a captain and Rahat Ali uh, was uh, sent in as a night watchman but to no avail as he was dismissed for a duck at the stroke of stumps. Uh, Safraz Ahmed today uh, started off in he knew that he is not going to get much company, so he decided to dance down the wicket even to the pace bowlers, but it was one too many. He was dismissed for 25, and uh, Wahab Riyaz was bowled for not by Vokes. Mohamed Amir collected 12, a shaky 12 of uh, 10 balls, 3 fours. Yasu Shah not out 11, and that was it. 339 all out, and then it was the turn of England 
uh, to take strike to the Pakistani bowlers and everyone were uh, really looking at it especially considering that Mohamed Amir uh, everyone was looking as how uh, Mohamed Amir uh, was going to bowl uh, well Mohamed Amir definitely <coughs> tested the batsman but I thought uh, Alistair Cook was pretty lucky he was dropped twice behind uh, Safraz um, uh, the wicket keeper not grabbing the chance and Mohamed Amir was the unlucky one uh, and uh, for England uh, well the breakthrough for uh, uh, the breakthrough was uh, uh, for Pakistan the breakthrough was provided by Rahat Ali uh, who forced Alex Hales uh, uh, to edge the ball he was gone caught as early both Rahat Ali for six after that uh, Joe Root and um, uh, Alistair, as I said, Alistair Cook uh, definitely was lucky uh, but because he was dropped to the bowling of Amir uh, but uh, the, the man who did the utmost damage there as I said Yasir Shah uh, the right arm leg spinner is someone uh, one Pakistan will be looking to and he went on to pick up a five wicket back today uh, I mean his, look at his bowling figures 25 overs five made in 64 runs and five wickets and the f and out of the seven wickets that fell today when England closed at 253 Yasir Shah had taken the five wickets in that um, in the first uh, dig itself and uh, that is really good to see and Alistair Cook and uh, Joe Root slowly got to the job they had a job to do uh, which they did it uh, after Hills departed uh, pretty early at 8 uh, as uh, they cemented a partnership of 110 runs for the second wicket and things were going on and that was that and then we saw that uh, we saw the wickets falling once Yasir Shah was in the attack the England started really struggling uh, the first wicket to go was Joe Root uh, was caught by Mohamed Afiz off the bowling of Yasir Shah for 48 with 7 fours and then we saw James Wentz now this was Yasir Shah taking two wickets in uh, uh, succession uh, succession in the sense uh, in two wickets in the same over as what he did is he actually bamboozled um, both uh, wins and balance uh, with some ripping leg breaks as first he picked up the wins and balance so first he picked up wins uh, by getting him LBW for 16 with three boundaries Gary balance uh, followed him LBW ball Yasir Shah for six as I said uh, they were bamboozled uh, by some ripping leg breaks which was uh, bowled by Yasir Shah and considering the fact uh, that this was not a turning wicket uh, one has to really credit uh, Yasir Shah uh, and um, Alistair Cook was uh, holding the innings for England uh, with a knock of 81 with 12 fours and then finally Mohamed Amiru missed the wicket of Yasir, um, Alistair Cook uh, when he was dropped behind the stumps but this time he forced Alistair Cook to drag the ball onto the stumps and that was Mohamed Amir's wicket and Alistair Cook uh, uh, departed for 81 uh, Jonathan Barristow playing down the wrong line to Yasir Shah was uh, L ball, clean ball by 29 his leg stem was ripped out 29 with 5 boundaries he started with a bit of aggression uh, Moin Ali uh, was uh, a victim of Yasir Shah 2 LBW for 23 with 2 boundaries and when stumps were drawn for the day England uh, uh, were 253 for 7 Chris Wokes was doing a fine job showing his uh, all around the, we know that Chris Wokes showed his uh, batting skills against Sri Lanka and he carried it further today uh, with an unbeaten knock of 31 with four fours and that should be uh, really credited because um, considering the fact that Chris Wokes is playing Yasir Shah for the first time uh, I thought Chris Wokes did a good job he was not out on 31 so two all-rounders in the middle now Stuart Broad was not out on 11 and 253 for 7 was the England score now as far as uh, uh, England are still training by 86 runs uh, with three wickets I think the day would be I would say even Stevens uh, but um, definitely they would be expecting because expecting Wokes and Broad uh, to, um, to see whether uh, they, um, uh, to, to see how how close they can take it to the Pakistan target and uh, the pitch is behaving uh, true there's uh, uh, nothing um, nothing um, happening right now uh, Mohamed Ami really knows two minutes one for 65 bold well Rahat Ali provided the breakthrough one for 68 Avaya uh, Briyas was wicketless he was a bit naughty in line 40 knows 56 but Yasir Shah uh, went on to take five wickets uh, I, I mean to take as I said uh, Miss Baal Haq uh, hit a century uh, so he go to, goes on the honours board at the Lord's Cricket Ground uh, Yasir Shah also would go uh, <coughs> with Yasir Shah making 
Uh, his mark at large with five wickets. What a comeback for Yasir Shah coming back at international cricket after that layoff. 25 overs, five made and 64 runs and five wickets. So definitely a wonderful job. And as I said, uh, the pitch is not really turning. And uh, Yasir Shah has done a great job for himself and his team uh, by ripping up uh, five wickets. Uh, so I think its uh, onus will be on Chris Wokes and Stuart Brown to take the score as close. They are now trailing by 86 odd runs uh, and uh, the owners will be on them. And uh, definitely, uh, if, you, if, you, if you look at it, I'm just trying to see uh, what's the situation there. There have been 71 overs have been bowled. So probably uh, another uh, 14 overs and the new ball will be due. It will be interesting to see what happens, uh, but uh, definitely the new factor will be there. And I think uh, Chris Wokes and Stuart Board uh, would definitely have a challenge to surmount tomorrow morning. Uh, well, dear fan subscribers, uh, that's uh, that's about it as far as today's cricket show is concerned. Uh, there's more uh, to come uh, on my cricket show uh, later tomorrow uh, on the third day's play. And also keep an eye on Twitter. Twitter is the one where I will not only talk about this game, but will also be tweeting about anything that is happening in cricket. Uh, thanks for your company and your continued cooperation to the cricket show. This is your host Ram taking leave, leave now, but to tell you that I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, goodbye.